Hi everyone, it is time to show you my completed pages from March. Now I didn't do a big range of books, but I did do quite a lot of pages. Um, what I had decided to do in March, let's just move this um, up there maybe. Um, what I decided to do in March was to um, was to concentrate on a few books because I want to finish a few more books and so the first book that I concentrated on was Small Victories. Now I have finished this and I have shown the um, completed pages video but I thought I would just quickly show you the pages that were the ones that I did in March just as it's part of this month. I've used this um, index sheet which I've produced and made available for free on my Kofi shop. You can go and have a look grab it if you want to. Basically it has a description of each page, the date you started and finished. I don't use the start date because I always finish it on the same day and what I used. I'm going to use this to help me just when I show you the pages so um, I can, uh, it tells me what I used. I have written them in my book because there's so many it goes over a page. Anyway it's boring to explain but let's just get on. <laughs> so I did this one in March, this inside cover. I'm wondering whether I need my light on makes everything a bit yellow but it helps me to see which is always quite useful so I did this one Ergosofts they work quite well on because it's always a bit hard to know what to colour on the cover the Ergosofts worked fine but I did put a book under here because it's a bit you can't lay it flat on the desk so I put a book underneath it's a little tip my husband's been making some new bookmarks. They're going to be up for sale in his Kofi shop soon. Um, I'm going to put them up. He's sold a few from his Kofi shop, which has made him so happy. It's lovely. Um, these six houses with Stedler Design Journey decided to match them up. I rather like the um, the fact that they match. It's a bit different, of a, a bit of a different idea. I did the same thing with my dinosaurs. Basically, I did every dinosaur brown, as you can see, in slightly reddy browns. I use Castle Arts, by the way. And then the leaves, they're actually the same-ish. So these ones that are spines here are the same one colour as these, as these. So I put some similarities between them and some differences and uh, so sort of matched them, which I found rather different and fun for me. Oops, then we have the three fish. Now this was a set of videos. I could come in a bit closer, couldn't I? There we go. So this was a set of videos that I made available. I think these were Black Widows. Yeah, and um, a pastel background with a sparkly pen for the bubbles. So that though, there are three separate videos on my um, channel if you want to see those. Now this page, um, the one I'm showing you is these four houses. Again, I matched them up. Um, I was really pleased. Um, I was looking forward to doing these with the leaves, but I wanted them to match, which is why I didn't do it as a video. I thought it might be a bit boring if they're all the same. And um, I used Pablo's for these and came out nicely on this paper. I haven't found any pencils, to be honest, that don't work well on this paper. These ones I did using Polychromos. Am I lying? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and I decided to do each set of florals in pinks, but different shades of pink. So that was a bit different for me. And all the greens were a bit different to each other as well. This page is a series um, available. I've done one video for each of these. I had a whale of a time. This one's my favourite down here. Um, so those are available for you. Polychromos again, if you want to follow that one and colour along. Or just get some ideas or just watch it really. Now this one, I didn't do the foodie treats as a video because I've done a few before from Johanna's previous books and um, I did those with Stella Design Journey and then I did this double. These bonsais are um, a video and I matched them up um, which again, a little bit different for me and you know, and maybe for you as well. Just, just enjoyed doing that. And then these tinies on shelves, oh sorry, that was done with, oh hang on, I'll turn my page over. So the bonsais were done with polychromos and these were done with ergosofts. And actually these look more vibrant than these, which is quite rare, but I layered them up a little bit and I found this quite daunting. I found the things on shelves pages in her other books a bit daunting. So what I did was I just tried to make them really bright and colourful using different colours for the different items and 
concentrating on just one item at a time and that helped me do it. Ooh. Then we had this one, these um, houses in the jars. This is another set of four videos that's available on my channel. And what did I use? Quickly, oh, uh, Stedler. Stedler Design Journey. Then I did the ducks. These ducks were done with Stedler Design Journey as well. I wasn't too happy with how they came out, to be honest. I sort of put pressure on myself because I thought they were so pretty and then, yeah. Look at that bookmark. It's nice, isn't it? Just right for this time of year. Or maybe the daffs have gone over, but never mind. Um, this viney one um, I did with Ergosofts and I just wanted them to all match again, like I've done with a few. I've just got into the mindset of wanting some things to match so I did that with that one too and then these four these aren't matching these were done with Ergosoft I wanted to do a few different color combos and I did this sort of blue and orange here and here and then pinks and purples here I just enjoyed that one then we have this one um, again match the buildings up I think this was Derwent's no, I'm lying. Well, it was actually Chromaflow. <laughs> so it's Derwent. So that was Chromaflow. So a bit pale because I did grey, but it was just a decision, blah, blah, blah. Just a decision that I made. Um, these birds, Brute Funa Metallic. Um, that's a video. Oh, I think I've got two bookmarks there. Look at these pretty tulips. I'm going to put these available on his Kofi shop soon when I get time. Um, we're both a bit stretched at the minute um, for various reasons, but anyway. So this one was done in Brute Funa Metallics, the 50 set. So they, the colours are a little bit different because they're metallic. I thought they were rather nice. I like the metallics. Now these two... <laughs> these two... This one was done with Tombows. Not too keen. Use some dark shades and some light and it looks a bit... I don't know. I don't like it. This one was another experiment which I did with um, polychromos for the main flowers and then I used a Brute Funa metallic for the background. I think it would have looked better with a metallic pen. It was another experiment which didn't quite go to plan but you know it is what it is. We've got a spring and a summer and they are videos if you want to follow along. We have a Halloween. Not quite the right time of year is it? These birds um, were done with polychromos with a pastel background and these were also done with polychromos. I did those quite quickly. Um, that one I spent a bit more time on but uh, I wasn't, I don't know, some days I'm in the mood for doing lots of little details, other days I'm just in the mood for getting some colour down on a page and uh, I just show you all of them whether they're whether I like them or not if you know what I mean. Three houses, um, Ergosoft, again, matching. And the end, this one, done with polychromos. So I, as I said, I've completed this book. There is a completed pages video with a bit more detail um, about each picture and showing you all of them rather than just the ones that I completed in March. So that's that book, which I can now put away. Um, in my completed books pile which is coming up to 30 I think. Planner. So Johanna Bassford's planner. Oh I just need to turn my page over in my main book because it's written in another book. It's all very confusing isn't it? Got some cacti in my planner. Um, so this was the first of March a fourth of March so the first March picture which was a complete disaster in my opinion I did it with um, Arteza's ink tonic fine liners and I think it looked awful I put some white dots on it and then some other dots and pastels and stickles and it looks better than it did but yeah didn't like it but it was you know it was what it was then we have our next page which I much preferred Stella design journey with a bit of um shiny pan pastel it goes so bright in the light you can't even see it um gold um, pan pastel this one which again i really enjoyed doing um i use polychromos for this it's a picture that i really love anyway and there's a bit of shiny pen on there 
And then we have our final March picture, which is our cat um, with Castle Arts pencils. And I've done the next one, but I'm not going to show you. I'm going to just take it out shot, turn the page. You'll have to wait for next door. Oh, it'll be coming out this afternoon. Do you want a sneaky peek? There you go. <laughs> Actually, if you're a member of my channel, you would have probably, I would have hopefully remembered to show you already. My channel members get them a little bit early. Just a little perk. Um, Ivy. Now, I did just this page. Now, I made um, a gold, a sheet of how to colour gold. Um, and I used this page to sort of demo it for you. Um, I've also now done a silver one and some other metallics and things like that. Um, all in my Kofi shop. Everything in there is for free. It's free apart from one item, which is a book that I wrote. Took a lot longer to put together, um, so I put a little bit of price on it. But everything else is free, um, so you can come and grab as much as over eighty freebies in there. Um, the link is in the description. Go along, have a look. You, you all you have to do put loads of things in your shopping basket, whatever you want, and then when it asks you how much you want to pay. Unless you put the book in, which has got a charge, it's only $199, um, everything else is free. So you can just stick a zero, or if you want to make a donation, put a little amount in, whatever you want to do. And then you just get all the stuff. It's all free downloads. I've just noticed I've missed a bit. <laughs> so that's the gold one that I did. It's a video, so you can follow along. I didn't do the whole page on video, but I did um, some of it to just demonstrate. And I'm planning, I've been asked to do the goblet in IV with gold as well, and I'm planning on doing that one for April at some point. It's on my list. Um, now, Lost Ocean, there's this page here with the fish. Now, it's a series which is currently running. Um, we've actually had to put a break in the series to fit this video in I say we I mean me it's just me <laughs> nobody else um so that I can fit this in because I've got so much going on so this is when what it looks like when it's finished this little sneaky peek for you so that one's currently running it's just a little one to pop in something a bit different uh, here it is we're on to Hannah Carlson now this season's but oh yeah I'll use this this is the um this one is a video with Prisma colours, and I've been asked to do it in polychromos. This one, and I do plan on doing that. It's been sitting on my desk waiting. I haven't got round to it yet. As I say, I've got a lot of lot of things I'm I'm planning on doing. So it's uh, it will get done. So, but when I do not know, because I know with this one you sort of smush it around with the Prismas. It's going to be very different with the polys. I've got to think about how to do it. Now this book I was given this month, um, which is Seasons, which I just showed you, but this is the Dutch edition and the paper is a little bit different. It's slightly smoother and a lot thicker. And uh, I coloured this little bee when I did the flip through. And this little bee um, is coloured in Prismacolor. I had a lot of fun trying to make him a bit metallic as well. So that's that book. I'm just, oops, I'm just trying to pile my items up in a useful order. Oh, reorganising my messy desk. Now, Forest Kingdom is the only book that I decided I would concentrate on this month by Hannah um, because I want to try and finish one of her books and I sort of picked this one because I'd done the most pages in it. So although I've done a few other things, this is her main, the main book of hers that I've done. So this one um, was done in Prismacolor. Um, then this is a double, as you can see. Um, this one, I'm just trying to find them. They're written in the wrong order. Here we go. Polychromos. It's quite a big undertaking with polychromos, especially the sky is done in pencil and everything. But um, I just wanted to do it in polys. Now this one, I've um, been practicing my faces. Um, this one, ah, oh, sorry. Um, there we go, polychromos again. So there's that. I tried to make them match. I like um, when there's 
two people. Uh, I like the symmetry. I mean, they're obviously not the same. But uh, now this lady, she was done in Derwent, I think. I'm just going to check while you have a little look. Put her in the middle so she's not so blurred. Um, yeah, so so trying something a little bit different. Um, skin tones with Derwent. I, I was yeah, reasonably happy. Her lips were a bit too dark, I thought. But it, it's very difficult to erase a really intense colour like that. I tried to go over it with something. It didn't really work. And I have our troll. A little bit close, aren't we? There we go. Um, with the children. I did him, I think, with, yes, Chroma Flow. So I had quite a limited palette because there was so much going on in the picture. And my Chroma Flow set is 24. So I just wanted something a little bit easier. So that's how I made him a little easier. And these two, I think it was only this. I'm sure I did this one this month as well, but it's not on my list. Maybe it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> just ignore me. I'm just lying and talking nonsense. This lady here, she was done with Prisma. She was done with Castle Arts. Now I found the skin really hard. Their skin tones are so orangey. It, it, she just looks quite orange. So that's. But she's quite small. So hopefully, you know, you won't notice. Obviously, I've just told you. But you know. this lady, um, I was really pleased with. Um, I did her with Prismacolor. I'm much more confident with skin tone in Prismacolor because I've done a uh, um, Chris Chang tutorial using them and it just um, has helped me. Um, her top, I didn't know whether it was just supposed to be bare skin, but I wanted to colour it in. Partly I'm not keen on, you know, too much bare skin. Maybe I'm a bit prudish. I don't know. I don't don't like it. Also, it's a bit daunting. There's enough skin here. <laughs> so I just coloured it in orange and it looked awful. So I've layered it up with some browns and terracottas and different things to tone it down. And I think in the end, I was happy with it. Now, where are we next? Oh, yes, we have our frog. Now, he was done with Prismacolors as well. But you can see he's got a background. It's just a um, soft pastels. It was a bit messy, so I just put some pastels on to try and hide it. I think it worked quite well. <laughs> and our wolf. Now, he hasn't got a background. He's got some shiny gold pen on the stars. It's quite difficult to show you. Um, I used to be quite scared of doing a gold effect with pencil, like I've done here and here, and then using a gold pen because I thought it would make the gold pencil effect look a bit rubbish but now I don't really care I think they're just different I like his eyes I have to say now what did I use I'm looking at that thinking it's probably Prisma uh, yes yes it is next we have this one I really enjoyed doing this one now the sky looks really dirty I wanted to make it like a sort of cloudy grey but it's a bit brownish but I think it quite happy with it really. I love the troll and his leafy umbrella. I really liked how he came out and all the greens and things. I just, it just, I just liked him. Um, he is Ogre Umbrella. Polychromos. Yeah, they, Polychromo, you know, they're my sort of favourites so I felt confident but the skin tones, um, not so confident with those in polys but because they were small it's okay and he, obviously his skin is green so it's all quite different um this one i finished yesterday actually these guys with the fire I wanted to make a sort of splodgy sky but it's not as nice as i hoped but you know we play around we experiment so this is prisma color the fire i was pleased with it doesn't look like fire but i like the color and the and the blends um the people i wanted them to be all a similar um, colour palette but I think they're all a bit too similar and the animals you know, they sort of meld into nothing the fire stands out which was the idea but maybe it's a bit too much and we've got some gold pen on the stars then we have this these three bugs these were done with Ergosoft pencils so I tried to make a sort of antique gold but it ended up looking quite coppery but I didn't mind 
Now these guys with their catching the stars, um, this is Derwent I think, um, yeah, so mixed Derwents, probably everything but Chromaflow because I've got a, a colouring um, pencil case with all my Derwents in but I've taken my Chromaflows out so it, it's probably everything but. This one here, um, was this done with Chromaflow? I think it was. I can't find it on my list, sorry. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Uh, there it is, Chromaflow, yeah, right underneath of that one on my list. <laughs> but I didn't do any sort of background. I quite like the fact that the frame was sort of, sorry, making it blurred, the frame was sort of see-through. And last one in the book I also did. So this one I did with Black Widows. Um, that I do not very easy to make silver with black widows but I managed it really all you can use is the black widow the dim grey and the grey thorn um, in the sets that I have the spider scorpion and cobra sets the greys in those sets are all quite brown so they're great for the smoke but not for the actual um, metallic work on our lamp but I had a, enjoyed that one thoroughly so there's that one. So I haven't, I've still got quite a lot of pictures left in the book, but I've made significant progress. So that's been nice. And I'm going to keep working on that one um, more. And I, this is another book that I've chosen that I'd like to finish. This is Rita Berman, um, her land book. Again, I've done a lot this month, but I've still got quite a lot to go. But it just makes me feel like I'm a bit further along. Ooh, now this book is broken, unfortunately. It's come away from the dust wrapper a bit, so it creaks a bit. But the pages aren't falling out, so that's all good. Now we have this one that I did. I've had a lot of fun with this one. It's rather sweet. I used Chromaflow and uh, did that one. Now I've done this binoculars one but I'm not sure that I wrote it down on my list. Oh yes I did. So this one was polychromos and I kept it all quite silvery and light. I don't know why. I was just in the mood for not switching colours and everything and I just did it really quickly. Now this double page is quite the challenge. It's got a soft pastel background and um trying to find it. Now these are across two pages so it might be tricky. Oh here it is, polychromos. There we go. And then this big flower, um, that was done with Artex pencils and I also did this one. Um, I didn't try and make the match as you can see they're completely different. Um, um, I'm sorry, it was I don't think I've written it down. Oh, there it is. Stedler Design Journey I've written. I, there's definitely pastel in the background there. Okay, I was going to do this one as a spring Eastery page, but I ended up doing some others, which we'll see in a minute. Um, this one, um, you can see I've used gold pen for the honeycomb, and I used polycolour for the flowers and butterflies and bees. It doesn't suit this paper particularly well, I have to say, polycolor, the Corrie Knorr ones. Didn't really work very well, anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so we did the bee houses. Um, these, or beehives. Um, this was a buddy color. Um, cast arts I used for that one, and some, the background is pastels again. I think it worked quite well, but instead of using gold, I just did bright yellow. I think the gold was nicer, yeah, just different. This one I did yesterday, I thought I want to do something really simple, so I picked this page. It wasn't as simple as I thought, they never are, are they? <laughs> and I used Stedler, I remember that, but also I did this page again thinking I wanted something simple, and I did keep this one really simple, this was a while ago. I used my uh, metallics, I think it was the Brute Funas, um, Yes, and uh, just, um, you know, as you can see, just blocked it all in. I just wanted something easy. Some days you just do, don't you? Now this one here, I had a lot of fun, took time over this one. Um, this was done with polychromos, and uh, I picked out lots of pinks and reds and purples. Lovely fun. I think we did this one last month with Derwent. But I don't remember showing it to you, but there it is. 
Okay. Oh, there's the next one. I thought I'd missed and I've taken the bookmark out of the <laughs> derp. This acorns one was done in, it says on my list, it was done with black widows and polychromos. I think maybe I ran out of colours, so I went to another set. But the background is pastels, so maybe it said black widows and pastels and I couldn't read my own writing. It's very, very likely, so I, I lost my place. It was the parrot. There he is. I wanted him very bright. I think he's quite bright. Um, he is done with prismas. Now, I didn't think the prismas went down particularly well on this paper, although I have done other other pages with prismas that work really well. So it may have just been my mood, and I didn't do a background, and I think it probably would have needed one, but I was worried about smudging all these prismas into something. So in the end, I just left it. Now, the pineapple page. Um... You can see there's a pastel background and um, castle art, soft touch. There's a bit here that's missing. I don't know why, what happened there. Now, oh, my lovely elephant. See, that's done in Prisma. It came out well, so I don't know. This hummingbird, um, I think that was also done in Prisma colour. Yeah, maybe it's just I wasn't in the right mood. I don't know, but there's the hummingbird. And the flamingo wallpaper, I used Chromaflow because it's got this lovely blush pink, which uh, I wanted to use. So that was fun. See, that's done in Prisma. I don't think it's as nice. So I did this double cacti page. It was quite a challenge trying to find all the different greens, but I like greens, so it was rather fun. And I used um, Prismas for that. And actually, I think that's come out OK. So as I say, maybe it's just my mood. The tape here. We think that's what they are. My son and me, we were trying to decide. Um, again, see, that's Prisma. And this giraffe is Polychromos. He's the cutie, isn't it? I think he's the last one. Yes, yeah, so that's that. So I did quite a few in there. But I also did one in Rita's spring book, which is coming up. No, you would have seen it. It would have gone out already. This is the, um, the Easter bunny that I did. A little bit closer for you. And what did I use? Let me just turn over my page. Oh, Arteza Expert. They're quite vibrant. I don't use them often enough, and um, I'm actually using them on a picture which I'm part of the way through, I'm actually in Lander, I think. Um, can't find it now. Oh, well, I'm, yeah, my current picture. But there is the bunny, and so I think it was a two-parter, but it's available now. And this one is also from a video, um, Little House Colouring Book. I was asked to do one from here. So I picked this one quite near the beginning and used my polychromos. Now these books are quite difficult. As you can see from this uncoloured picture here, there's a lot of dark um, areas. And so, you know, if I was going to colour this, there's so much wood you know, and then there are the words to block in and things like that. So it's a little bit tricky, but I enjoyed doing this one as in the video. And then a Mandela and a colour cube card for this one. Um, so we have the sort of greens and browns and things like that. That was uh, fun. Um, yes, light-hearted mandalas. Um, sorry, I didn't say the little house was Polly's. This was Arteza Premium. Now, I've got a couple of printouts from Agatha Pop. I've only done the one. This was one I did. That's a different paper. It's all printer paper. Obviously, I must have used different ones. So these are her March Tinies, and I did that with Polychromos. Um, and this one is from her Easter Cute Cuties, I think. And uh, that one I did with Chromaflow. Um, so there were those. I didn't do any more than just those two. Um, I was trying to work on my other books. Walk in the Woods. Now this again was a video tutorial of our little mouse and um, blackberries and elderberries. And that was a two-part tutorial. Lots of fun with that one. It's a very nice book actually, but I haven't done much in it. Um, someone 
asked me to do this one and I did it with Castle Art Botanical Pencils. I think I chose a limited set of pencils because it's such a busy page. I had a lot of fun with it. I just find that Mel Pomene's Mel pictures are quite dark. Um, I find them a bit tricky for that reason, but I do enjoy colouring them. And here's Botanicum. So this is my only Maria Trolley book this time. As I say, I was concentrating on others. But um, my buddy Michelle, we do buddy colours together. She's got a few. She wants to finish a Maria Trolley book over the summer, she said. Um, it's quite ambitious, I think. But we'll be doing some buddy colours, so we will be doing more. I will be doing more. So this was another Easter Bunny page. You've got the lovely nest of eggs and things like that. And it's a set of two videos, I think. Um, and I used Prismacolor for this one. And it worked. I thought they went down rather well um, in this book. So that's good. And just a couple more left. Um, this one here, um, I was actually at a hospital appointment with my son son and I was waiting for him he had to go and have a scan and uh, I was colouring in the waiting room so I did a little bit of this it's not very tidy I was just um, I used chroma flow this paper's a little bit shiny it's not the best for chroma flow but I just finished it off at home but I did um, did a little bit while I was waiting um, for him in this appointment so it's a really good little book for just popping in my bag with a, the chroma flow pencils were great although I put them inside a um, case because the lid doesn't always stay on a tin of pencils very well but uh, lastly this book now this book I was sent by colour yet to show you and I did a video and I did a part of this with chroma flow pencils and uh I finished it off. You've probably seen the completed page on the video anyway, but um, that is it. So that is all for me this month. Next month I will be doing um, I will be doing quite a few from my two books that I did a lot from, but I'm going to spread it out a little more. And my, as I say, my buddy's got a couple. It's not Maria Trolley next month. She wants to do some mandalas and something else can't remember so there'll be a few different books next month but it's a little bit different i haven't got piles of books but um hopefully it was still interesting for you um yeah and thank you very much for watching and please do like subscribe and comment it does make a difference and make sure you hop over to my Kofi shop pick up some freebies and if possible follow me on there it's always appreciated and it means you get told when i get and put another item on there and I have got plans for more, so uh, they might be some useful things for you. Go and grab some freebies. So thank you again. Have a super day and happy colouring.